Hi guys, this is a quick uh, FX Hub demo. So for the past couple of days, um, I've been discussing this idea of having a JavaFX Hub with a bunch of JavaFX developers. And what we ended up with is some kind of an idea of uh, almost like an app store, but for JavaFX applications, projects, and so on. Um, I then kind of slightly modified the idea to turn it into an FX Hub because I don't want to have just another app store. And with this FX Hub idea, which is similar to things like Unity Hub, um, Unreal Engine Marketplace, and things like that, where you can um, not only download and run things, but you can also learn a bunch of stuff uh, and see other people's projects, see uh, tutorials, sample code, and stuff like that. So here is a proof of concept demo. You have these sort of panels on the left hand side, which you can select. And then this application, which is written in JavaFX itself. Um, well, it's written in the FXGL, but it's still JavaFX, so it doesn't really matter. It will automatically go to one of the data repositories and read information from there. So these five projects that you can see, five games, these are being read from a specific data repository. And that can be populated by JavaFX developers. It's just normal, a, a normal GitHub repository that has plain text files. I'm going to show you later on. Now I want you to just quickly do a demo and then I'll explain how the demo works. Let's run this thing, for example. So when you click download and run, it's actually going to download from the developer's uh, self-hosted or GitHub-hosted repository. So we don't actually don't we don't store anything, and that's the beauty I think of this. Uh, it will download and then run that application, which is um, what it's doing right now. So I'll close that. Uh, and then you can download and run a different application if you want. So this is your proof of concept demo. This is how I think it should work. Well, it is already working, kind of. Um, this is not just some kind of video or anything. This is a uh, JavaFX app actually doing its thing. So now here is how uh, it works and the model behind it. There is this repository called FX Hub Data, which stores and is going to store uh, just plain text files, which contain this stuff. So here is how the format is laid out. It's just 10 uh, properties, uh, plain text file, and these properties tell us what the project is about. Some of them are not even needed, so you can leave them as empty. Uh, we want to know the title, version, who the author is, uh, what the project uh, is about, a description, and then possibly an executable. So for things like frameworks and libraries, obviously there will be no executable because they don't typically produce an artifact. But for applications and games that you want um, users of FX Hub to run, uh, you could provide, for example, a J-linked image, which is produced by JavaFX Maven plugin for a specific platform. Uh, you could also use Gluon Client to produce a native image. And ideally, that's probably what's going to happen in terms of the optimal solution uh, for providing executables. But for now, I'm t just testing with uh, JavaFX Maven plugin and a J-linked image, which will work for a modular project that uses JavaFX 11 and higher. So as you saw, it does what it's supposed to do. It runs, it downloads, then runs the project, and that gives you the sort of um, App Store feel to it. One main advantage is that users don't need to know 
where the application is coming from or how to run it, how to compile it, because it's already been prepared. And I suppose another advantage is that you don't need to do anything special per se, because you are already somehow distributing your application. Um, and chances are it's either via JavaFX Maven plugin or compiling to native. Uh, I suppose you might also be distributing kind of old school fat jars, but we don't really want to be doing that um, because we don't want a Java dependency anymore. So this is it, um, a proof of concept demo. There is an open call for contributions um, for your projects. So here's the FX Hub data repo. I'll give you the link in the description. And what I'd like you to do is, if you're happy with your project being featured here uh, in FX Hub, which is this, then just create an issue and in your issue just add these things. Like I said, you don't need to complete all of them. Um, I suppose we want to know the title, some description, authors, and where we can find the project. That could be a start. Um, the format is likely to be like this, or at least for now, during the sort of development stage. And then we'll see how this thing goes, and then we might you know, tweak things as we go along. Okay, thanks for watching, and feel free to leave feedback and anything you want to know about this project.